Welcome everyone. I want to welcome you guys back to part two. I'm actually following up on the last video that I put out titled 11 YouTube channels I follow in the financial community. Thank you for those of you who responded and you shared the channels that you recommend. I'm going to share them here. <laughs> and also I had time to kind of step back from that video and think about some things I left out, you know, uh, like, you know, the prepper community, um, which I've kind of gotten a little bit away from that. Um, I don't follow those channels nearly as much, but in the past I have, and some of you might be interested in some of the people that I could recommend for that. But um, let's get into it. And uh, let me start with uh, Gregory Manorino, and I think it was T. Witten, yeah, who recommended... Uh, a lot of these people, um, thank you, T. Witten, um, gave the most recommendations. But yeah, I had not heard of this guy, and I've just started listening to him. So I haven't watched a lot of his content, but right out the gate, I'm like, wow, I subscribe. I've got to follow this guy. And in, right now I'm in the middle of listening to this Um a narrated ebook, How to Become Debt Free. And some of what he's saying I already knew, but I was studying that a couple years ago. So, those of you who are trying to get financially free and you maybe need to do credit repair, <laughs> um, he, he has some really good advice on that. But, like I said, I'm, I'm about three fourths away through listening to that book. And um, there's some other stuff here that I've listened to as well, but every time he talks, I'm just like, okay, this guy knows his stuff. And notice with these um, thumbnails here, it's saying banned, censored, and I actually watched this video about how he's officially on the Google uh, ban list. Let me get my glasses bad boy yeah list and i actually went to go look at that list and there's a lot of people 400 websites google doesn't want you to visit and he's on the list we'll talk about this at the very end okay because there's some other very interesting people um they i mean this is quite a thorough list but definitely like in the um financial community right here yeah we're gonna cover we're gonna we're coming we're gonna circle back in a way that jen Saki doesn't <laughs> at the end of this video okay we're gonna talk about this a little bit more but moving on um somebody recommended crypto teacher and i've actually been listening to this guy almost every day and he posts several times a day he posts a lot um He's quick, and I mean, I'm going to be honest with you. Some of it is like, whoa, what did you say? I got to re rewind and play it over and over again because he talks really fast, and he drops some heavy stuff in a short amount of time. I mean, these are relatively short, you know, like about 10-minute videos, okay? And you can see I've watched a lot of this. Like, whenever he uploads, I listen to him. Um, he does have some books that he likes to sell. And I, I, you know, I'm a writer myself, so I went and checked him out, you know, checked out his books. And unfortunately, I'm sorry to say, but bad reviews. So he's going to, like, tell you in the videos that his books are mandatory and... Uh, from based on what I'm seeing from the reviews, he's maybe good, better with math and economics than he is with writing, okay, and communications. But nevertheless, I'm still listening to him. Videos are very valuable. I don't know about the book so much. I'm just being fair here, okay? I'm just get because nobody's paying me to say this stuff. I'm just giving you my honest opinion. All right, moving on. I've heard about Wayne Jett. Uh, also from T. Witten, and I have not listened to this guy yet. 
um, but it seems to be pretty thorough cover seal. Most of these videos are about an hour long, okay? Uh, just, I don't, he doesn't have a channel, I don't believe, so just, you know, he's an author and an, a, and a lawyer, okay, from what I can gather, and each of these videos on his book, The Fruits of Graft, Great Depressions Then and Now, that's the title of his book. Well, these videos are about an hour long each, so I haven't dug into that yet. But from what I understand, you know, he's dropping a lot of, of, of knowledge about maybe parallels we can draw from what happened before uh, and what their foretelling is going to happen again. All right. Catherine Austin Fitz. Oh, they are trying to suppress this woman. Look at this. You put her name in here on uh, YouTube. Oh, do they even pull it up? Let me go back. To, let me see if they pull up under that. This is a great video. I think they censored it. Yeah. So when you when you put in her name or you put in this Planet Lockdown full interview, which, by the way, I shared this actual video on my channel for my uh, on my community page. OK, and I told everybody I gave the link and I said, watch this before they take it down. Sure enough, about three or four days later, it was taken down, and I don't think it's on here anymore. Yeah, this is not it. You're going to have to go over here to uh, thewallwillfall.org. I will probably put the link down below in the description box. Definitely worth watching. Yes, it is a longer video, almost an hour long, 48 minutes long, but very well worth your time, okay? Believe me, if YouTube is taking it down, and you know people are looking this up on here, people are searching for this video, and I think she also had it for a while on BitChute or Library uh, or some other alternative YouTube, you know, video services. Okay, well, I think it got taken down there as well. Um, they're very much trying to silence this woman. Uh, but I will say that there are interviews on here. I don't know how long that is. Is that it right there? Did they get it back up? I don't know. But anything that you can find on YouTube with her, uh, give it a listen to. Of course, she's not going to have a channel. And I'm going to say it goes back to this that I'm talking about. These people that are being censored, not just on YouTube, but by Google, who owns YouTube, last I checked, um, these are some of the, <laughs> the best people to listen to are the ones that are not on YouTube, okay? So some of you, you want to find something on YouTube, and yeah, this video is mostly about that, but I'm just going to tell you. You're not going to get full extra dose, full strength of these people on YouTube because of all the censorship, as you know. It looks like there's some, oh uh, yeah, these are one minute long. You're not getting the full thing on here. YouTube will not allow it, okay? And when you know somebody's being censored that badly, you know they're worth listening to, at least in my book, okay? I want to know what they don't want me to know. That's just who I am, <laughs> you know. So definitely go over to this website. Link will be down below. And any interviews you can hear from Catherine Austin Fitz, you know, give that a listen to. Uh, in the prepper community, so occasionally I do listen to some of these people, but frankly, they don't get the bulk of my attention on this subject matter because I've been studying prepping probably since the 2008 housing crisis. And I had some friends at that time who had lost their homes and they were flipping out and they started gardening and, you know, they thought the sky was going to fall. And, <laughs> uh, you know, and I think that um, it was maybe back in 2012, uh, about no, a little bit of 13, 14, around that time, my, my ex-husband bought one of those big um, survival prepper 
thingies. Like, I don't know if you paid like $500 for it. And there was some shit going on then too. Um, we were dealing with um, a, a, an, an illegal immigration crisis in, in Texas and in the United States. And we were like, what the heck is going on? And uh, so there's always these little events, it seems. This is my mindset. There's always these little events that freak people out to the point where they're like, oh my God, the sky's falling. You know, what do I do? And, you know, they really drive home the prepping message, which I do think is a valuable one, but I just don't take it as seriously as maybe other people do. Like this guy, the angry prepper, um, I listen to him a lot. Well, he's from New York, which I find refreshing. I mean, and he's, he's kind of, for some people, maybe a little bit raw, maybe a little harsh, but I just kind of like him saying it how it is. And, um, but he talks a lot about the news and I think he's ex-military or he's a firefighter now. And he's a tough guy, you know? So, but I haven't watched him in quite a while, but anyway, he, he comments on the economy, the uh, political situation. I think I was watching him a lot uh, more around the time of the election, the selection, <laughs> uh, in the inauguration. And he was out there covering that. Um, so it's kind of like, yeah, he's talking about prepping, but he's also talking about other things as well and how that relates to prepping. And I just, I like his personality, but again, you know, for me, the whole prepping thing I feel is not necessarily that, uh, you, you know, you do it because the, the, the sky is going to fall, but you do it just uh, every day. Like, right, even the Mormons do that. In the Mormon church, uh, they teach the women to stockpile six months worth of food in the event that somebody in the family gets sick and can't go to work and you know it's just a it's a good prudent thing to do with your finances to um put up about six months worth of food and there are a lot of people who run these channels who will tell you to stockpile all manner of things um and th these are things that you probably wouldn't even eat or use and and then later on like I said in a previous video later on when you realize the sky is not falling and the food is going bad then you got to eat it so it doesn't you know waste your food you don't waste your money you know and, and then then you regret it and so from all these years over 10 years of kind of watching how these things these scenarios play out um, my belief is that you buy what you know you are going to eat and you're going to enjoy and you and you're going to need okay and um you don't need to go all in at one time just maybe double up and you know say well i'm just gonna do my groceries uh, double up on buying you know at the grocery store um on my dry goods this week or my non-perishables this week or right you fill in the blank, but, um, and, and as I've said before in other videos, to me, the stockpiling is encouraged at this point in time, not because we're really afraid of a famine or anything like that. Um, there might be hacking incidences where it causes a disruption in the supply chain with food. We kind of saw that with the toilet paper last year. Um, but I don't know that that was hacking related. That was scarcity mentality. Another reason why you just don't go all in and buy up the whole store at one time. Just get a double up here and there. But anyway, um, the other issue is inflation. I think that's the most important thing is to kind of get a, a little bit ahead of the game on inflation. Because we're, we're seeing, I'm hearing the real numbers are like 13% right now. Uh, uh, inflation on food. Of course... The, the officials are claiming a different number because they have some crafty ways of calculating this that leave out certain key, yeah, anyway. 
go to the Angry Prepper if you are interested in knowing more about that. Another one is Ice Age Farmer. And um, so he's kind of similar to the Angry Prepper in that um, he ties in the the current political and economic events with his advice on prepping. So as you can see, I haven't watched a lot of them here because yeah, just kind of uh, my focus. My focus most recently has been crypto. But for those of you who are like, I just need the bare necessities, you know, I need the basics. Um, definitely check out this channel. Now, I want to circle back. I'm going to circle back. <laughs> Unlike Jen Saki. Yeah. And talk to you um, briefly about maybe some resources that are not on, on YouTube. Um, I have for years followed Zero Hedge. Um, I started following them back in 2012 when I graduated with, you know, an honor, um, honors and an award. And my teachers and classmates were saying, you're not going to have a problem finding a job. And then I did, you know, and I'm like, what the heck's going on? So I started looking at the economy back then, zero hedge. And um, I don't know if they've got shadow statistics on there. Um, that's another good one. Um, but you can go to this website, prepareforchange.net. I probably will put the link down below for this one as well. Um, so you can look at this list if you are interested. Some of these people I'm not entirely familiar with. Investment Watch Blog, I've seen a bit of that. GoldSilver.com, I've seen a bit of that. X22 Report, he's been taken off of YouTube and he is over on Rumble and I follow him over there, but I've kind of been off and on with him. I started following him back in 2013 as well. Um, and then I picked up, I picked him back up, started watching him again uh, around last year, uh, 20. For those of you who are watching this way in the future, last year was 2020, <laughs> around the time of the selection, okay? Um, I kind of fell out of, ta of listening to him because I felt like some of these people are very much, they have this sense of urgency, and when I cover political channels that I look at on here, I'm gonna probably bring this up again. What I notice is there's a lot of clickbaity titles. There's a lot of content creators who are very, there's a sense of, of urgency that is maybe exaggerated, okay? So all this stuff that I'm recommending I want to encourage you to take it with a grain of salt. Sometimes they're ahead of the curve. Um, sometimes, unfortunately, because of the nature of social media, you have to be almost click clickbaity to get people to watch you. And just the nature of humans, you you got to put something kind of sensational in the title, or they're not going to click. And I hate that that's the way it is, but it, that's the way it is. And so. Just bear that in mind with some of these content creators. Don't get, don't start thinking like, you know, with some of the stuff that they're reporting that, that the end is, you know, um, like the sky is falling tomorrow, right? Don't, don't get too much into that thinking. And none of them will say it like that, but you watch enough of these videos, it will leave you with this feeling like, oh my God, what am I gonna do, you know? And you have to bear in mind that they're kind of hyping this stuff up because the, how do they get people to click? How do they get the views? Anyway, Coindesk, I think I just recently started following them. So that's about crypto, crypto news. And Mycees, I think that that is 
it's not written correctly. I don't know. I don't think it is. But anyway, myseas.org, and that's about Austrian economics. Um, really thought provoking. It like if you wanted to learn about Austrian economics, which by the way, that's kind of like the people that I follow are into that, and, and a lot of us don't even know, right? I've talked about this in previous videos. We don't know. We don't know about you know economics because most of us were purposefully left ignorant about these things but for those of you who are wondering basically the difference is Austrian economics is really not what is being followed here in America we're following Keynesian economics where there's a lot of government intervention when we should be having a truly free market we don't have a free market here because when you have governments bailing people out right bailouts and instead of letting inefficient corporations fail letting banks fail okay um you get keynesian economics from that also um the fiat currency as opposed to sound money that is backed by a tangible asset like gold um in, in Keynesian economics, it's being run off of debt. Everything that we're doing in this uh, economy is debt-based, and it's about consuming, being being a good little consumer, running up your credit cards. You know, I just heard somebody the other day say, you know, in this economy, if you don't have credit, if you don't, if you're not working off the debt system, you you can't get anything done. You you have to leverage debt. You have to take out loans and this sort of thing in order to get anywhere in this economy. Why? Because this is Keynesian economics over here when really the goal should be Austrian economics. See, and if you don't know what the difference is, how are you going to understand um, what's going on and why it's not a good thing, right? Um, so definitely uh, going back to mices.org, uh, they they help you discern they're going to really give analysis about what's going on currently and how it is interpreted under the lens of austrian economics all right well that is all i have for now and um probably soon i will put out a video on the people that i'm following in the com the political channels. <laughs> I think that um, some people are really trying to figure out what's going on. And, and I actually, the last live I did, uh, somebody asked me to put out a video or a list of the, the people in the political community that I follow, which I will do. And um, also for those of you who are looking for more content about relationships and all that, I'm working on it. I'm just going to let you know that I recently filmed a six part series to find that three out of six of the parts had bad audio. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to have to re film them and, uh, but I'm working on it and it is on midlife crisis energy. So for those of you, it's, it's kind of on astrology, but also it, it, it is astrology, but it's also, um, very much about self-awareness, self-help, and all of that. Uh, but yeah, for those of you who are ages 41 through 44, and some of you as soon as 36, you can start getting into this. Um, probably want to listen to it. And even if you're older, you know, it might be good to, to take the time to listen to this series that's coming out because... It's going to help give you perspective on what you went through. And again, if you haven't gone through it, it'll help prepare you for what's to come. And if you're in the middle of it, I'll help you make sense out of it. So uh, that is coming up. But in the meantime, if you um, miss part one of, of this video that I'm putting out on the financial community, I will, where will I put it? I'll put it over here. Yeah, click the link over here <laughs> and watch that video. Um, and until next time, I'm wishing you guys all the best. Be blessed.